Hi, my name's Lisa from Pilates by Lisa and today I'll be taking you through my favourite Pilates stretches to improve your posture. So Pilates is fantastic for realigning the spine, strengthening the posture muscles and giving you a couple of inches of extra length. And these stretches are ideal for creating that extra length. So get out your mat and let's get started. Now we're going to move our spine through several different ranges of motion today so you're really getting the most out of these stretches. We're going to start with some lateral flexion side to side with one of my favourite stretches, the mermaid. So let's start by staggering the legs. Your shin is going to be parallel with the front edge of the mat, your opposite shin is going to be parallel with the other edge so you're sitting up nice and tall, nice and comfortably with the hips nice and square and centred. Now pull your abdominals in, lengthen out through your spine and reach your hand for your outside leg for support. We're going to be reaching this other arm up in beside the ear and gently draw the abdominals in as you reach over and create length through the ribs and through the internal and external obliques, stretching nice and long. Now we're going to sink that arm down into the ground, reach up and over now to create a little bit of more of a stretch. We're going to add in some rotation so you're not just laterally flexing but you're also rotating your shoulder down towards the ground and stretching your spine in a different direction. Now open up through the chest, reach up and over, we'll do that twice more. Lengthen through your side, pull your navel in, stretch up and over, lengthening through your side and then dropping the shoulder down towards the ground, getting that beautiful rotational stretch, stretching all of your postural muscles. Open the chest back up. Good, we'll do that one last time, reaching up and over and stretching through your side. And then coming down and into the mat, reaching up and over and then dropping your shoulder down towards the ground, stretching all the way out, it feels so good. And then open up that chest, Lengthen up and over. And then we'll simply change sides. So make sure that you're staggering the legs. Good, bringing the shins parallel with the edges of the mat, reaching your hand for your outside leg just to give you a little bit of lift and support. Reach your arm up, stretch over and lengthen through the rib cage and through the obliques. Now bring that elbow down into the ground, lift up and over and we're going to add in that rotation, dropping the shoulder down, stretching through the back. Open up the chest, lift up nice and tall, reach over and stretch through your spine. Now drop your elbow into the ground, reach, lengthen, drop the shoulder, stretch through the back. And we'll do that one last time, lifting up and over, reaching and stretching. And then sink all the way down and into the ground, drop your shoulder, reach and lengthen. Come all the way back to the centre and we'll move on to our next stretch, the sore. For the next stretch, we're going to bring our legs out in front of us. Now you want to make sure that your legs are just a little bit wider than your mat. So just make sure you're pulling the toes back towards you, you're sending energy through your heels. If you find that having your legs extended makes you round your back, you may want to just bend your knees very slightly and this will give you a little bit of extra room in the hamstrings to allow you to lengthen up through your spine. You can imagine that if you're really tight through this area, having your legs extended is going to make it really difficult to sit up tall. So just do what you can to get the length through your spine. That's our first and foremost priority. So let's lengthen the arms out nice and long, draw your navel in and rotate towards your right. Now I want you to drop your left ear towards your right knee, like you're trying to listen to it. Reach your left hand for the outside of your uh, right foot like you're trying to soar off your little toe. Now you can just press this hand down towards the ground to begin with if you'd like and just soar off your little toe with three pulses. And two, and one. Lift up and change sides. So you're reaching around Soaring off the little toe. Three, two, and one. Lift up using your abdominals, articulate through the spine. Now if you want to, you can also lift this back arm up in opposition. Three, two, one. Now scoop your tummy, roll up through your spine, change sides. Three, two, and one. We'll do six more like this. Good, three. Two, getting a little bit deeper with each pulse. Good, 
and three, two, one. Let's do four more. Three, two, and one. Good, reaching, soaring off that toe, reaching beyond your foot if you can. Good, keep working towards it. You will get there, I promise. Keep reaching, keep soaring, and change sides. Three, two, and one. Come all the way back to the center for our final stretch, the spine stretch forward. We're gonna do a slight variation so you can use a little bit of resistance to get into that stretch. Your hands are going to come just on top of your legs. You're going to tuck your chin in. Firstly, I want you to imagine that you're up against a wall. Now, take your head away from the wall. Lift your abdominals up and in and start to peel your upper back away from the wall and slide your hands down towards your ankles. Keep lifting your abdominals. Your lower back stays connected to that wall, so you're lifting through your centre. Now, if you can, reach for your ankles or wherever you can on the leg. If you can reach that little bit further, wrap your hands around the top of your feet. Now what I want you to do is lift your abdominals, keep your shoulders tension free and down away from your ears and pull against your legs to create that beautiful stretch through your spine. Open up the space between your shoulder blades by dropping those shoulders down. Keep lifting your abdominals and then I want you to lift your arms to the traditional spine stretch forward position and then stack your spine back up against the wall, vertebrae by vertebrae lengthening up and stacking your head back against the wall. We'll do that twice more. Tuck your chin in, lift your abdominals, slide your hands down along your legs. Reach for the ankles or for the feet if you can, pull against your feet, lift up, drop the shoulders and open the space between your shoulder blades. Your head is relaxed here, the chin is softly tucked in and your abdominals are lifting to create length through the lower back. You'll find that as you draw the navel in deeper, you find more length through your spine. Now lift those arms up, keep that same position and stack your spine up nice and tall. Vertebra by vertebra, lengthening up and stacking your head up tall. One last time, tuck the chin in, reach forward, stretch, reaching for wherever you can, pull up and in, keeping the shoulders down, the mid back open, the abdominals lifted, the head dropped. And then when you're ready, lift those arms and stack up nice and tall, sitting up as tall as you can, grow an inch taller, lengthen up and bring the arms down. So the fantastic thing about that stretch is it's strengthening and stretching your hamstrings, your calves, through the back of your legs, but also creating a nice long spine. Ideally, I want you to perform those stretches three times through on a daily basis. If you're really aiming to correct your posture, loosen up tight muscles and really strengthen stabilizing muscles. Now, if you want full length, follow along real time workout videos from the comfort of home or wherever life takes you. You can check out our online studio at pilatesbylisa.com.au. We have amazing postural workouts, full body routines, leg defining workouts, powerhouse, upper body, we have it all. So go and check out the online studio at pilatesbylisa.com.au. I can't wait to see you at the next workout.